Hello everyone, I am Akanksha Jain, Assistant Professor in IMS Kasibad. In this video, I will be discussing centrifuge rotors, the different types of rotors that the centrifuge has. Now, the design and types of rotors, uh, first one is a swinging bucket rotor. As the name suggests, the bucket is swinging. So, the bucket starts off from a uh, vertical position and as the rotor starts, it swings to a horizontal position. So, that during centrifugation, the tube and the solution is aligned perpendicular to the axis of rotation and parallel to the applied centrifugal field. Now, as there is a deacceleration of the rotor, that tube returns back to its original position. This is a typical rotor, swinging bucket rotor. As the motor will accelerate, start accelerating these position, these tubes which are in vertical position, they will uh, become aligned, they will become straight and uh, they will become horizontal to the position and uh, as the motion uh, rotor deaccelerate, they will again be back to the same vertical position. Now the fixed angle rotors, this is the most common type of centrifuge rotor that is found in labs in which the angle in which we place the tubes, it is fixed, it is 14 degree to 40 degree it can be and under the influence of centrifugal field the particles they move radially outward because the centrifugal force is applied radially outward and they tra have to travel only a very short distance before colliding with or precipitating on the outer wall of the centrifuge tube. Now the region of higher concentration is formed that has a density greater than the surrounding medium with the result that the precipitate it sinks and collect as a small compact pallet at the outermost point of the tube. So, this is the diagram of Beckman uh, fixed angle rotor. Now, coming to the vertical tube rotor, these are zero angle fixed angle rotors in which the tubes are aligned vertically in the body of the rotor. This is the diagram uh, which shows you first the fixed angle rotor. This is how the separation would take place. These are density gradients that have been made in the tubes. This is the vertical tube rotor. This is how the separation would take place. And this is the position after the rotor has deaccelerated. This is the swinging bucket rotor in which the tube first is it is vertical, then it becomes horizontal. And finally, the rotor when it deaccelerates, the tube is back to its vertical position. There are zonal rotors also in which they can be batch or in continuous slow type. And um, these are designed to minimize the wall effects now what is wall effect wall effect is basically seen in swinging bucket rotors and the fixed angle rotors uh, in which the particle it collides with the wall and there are chances of its breakage so uh, to overcome these we have zonal rotors this is a diagram of a zonal rotor Coming to the elevator type of rotors, these are continuous flow type of rotors in which there is a conical shaped chamber and there is a bypass chamber on the opposite side of the rotor that serves as a counterbalance to provide the fluid outlet. For example, here you can see this is how the separation is taking place. This is the direction in which the force is applied, centrifugal force and this is the direction in which the sample will flow. So, uh, in this type of chamber, uh, the speed of centrifugal force is quite low here and whereas it is at this point it is very high at the apex portion it is very high. So, um, this is how the separation would take place and depending on this the larger particles will sediment towards the end and whereas the smaller particles will sediment over the broader part. Coming to the care of rotors, these rotors, these uh, are usually coated and uh, why uh, coating is needed is because the sample can always spill and so there can be corrosion. So to avoid this, these rotors are usually coated but however when you are using your uh, centrifuge instrument then you should take care that your sample is duly filled to the appropriate position depending upon the capacity of your tube and it should always be uh, covered uh, 
correct and you should use the type of uh, you should use the tubes which can be also be closed now uh, another problem with uh, this is can be high temperature there can be rise in temperature so avoid this uh, appropriate brakes should be given to the rotor while you are continuously doing your centrifugation so uh, in case of swinging bucket rotor however you should not never completely immerse in water as bucket hanging system is difficult to dry and titanium rotors are essentially resistant to corrosion to prevent possible damage to the drive shaft of the centrifuge due to vibration caused by the rotor imbalance so rotor should always be properly balanced the sample should be loaded within limits that are specified by the manufacturer now swinging bucket rotor should not be run with any bucket or caps removed or individual rotor buckets interchange as they form the integral part of the balance of the rotor